Welcome back, book buddies. Today we are going to read two of the stories from Peppa's Bedtime Treasury Book. Today's stories are The Rainbow and the Toy Cupboard. Let's go. The Rainbow. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? asked Peppa. Hee hee, not yet, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. Peppa and George sigh. Car trips can sometimes be a bit boring. Let's play a game, says Daddy Pig. We each have to spot a car that is our favourite colour. Yippee, says Peppa and George. Candy Cat and her mommy are driving in their car. Green is my favourite colour. I win, Daddy Pig says. Candy and Pepper wave at each other. Hello. Look, Daddy Dog is driving in Grandad Dog's orange truck. It's orange, so I win, says Mommy Pig. There isn't a red car anywhere, says Pepper. There is one red car on the road, says Daddy Pig. What colour is our car? It's red, says Peppa. My favourite colour. I win. Yay! The car climbs up and up the mountain until it reaches the top. Everyone gets out of the car. Look at that lovely sunny view, says Daddy Pig. But seconds later, it begins to pour with rain. And everyone gets very wet. Daddy Pig spots Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Four ice creams, please, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig. One, two, three, four. What flavours would you like, asks Miss Rabbit. Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please, says Daddy Pig. Everyone is very happy. They each have an ice cream in their favourite colour. They sit in the car eating their ice creams and watch the rain fall. Mmm, yummy, Pepper says. Look, the sun has come out, says Mummy Pig. A rainbow, hee hee hee, giggles Pepper. Pepper and George love rainbows. It has all our favourite colours in it, says Mummy Pig. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, violet. What's at the end of the rainbow? asks Peppa. Treasure, says Mummy Pig. Can we go and find it? says Peppa. That sounds like fun. Let's go, says Daddy Pig. Whee! Where's our rainbow gone? asks Peppa. It's moved to the next hill, says Mummy Pig. Oh, you cheeky rainbow, giggles Pepper. Quick, let's catch it, says Daddy Pig, starting the car again. They drive in the car to the next hill. It stopped raining, says Daddy Pig. And the rainbow has gone, says Pepper. Wah, cries George. Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig spots something. Have you found the rainbow treasure, Daddy? asks Peppa. Yes, I have, says Daddy Pig with a smile. It's a big, muddy puddle. They all jump in the puddle together. This is the best rainbow treasure ever, says Peppa. Splish, splash. And there's Mummy, Daddy, Peppa and George all eating their ice creams. How yummy. The Toy Cupboard. It is Pepper and George bedtime. Goodness, cries Mummy Pig. Why are all the toys on your bed? That's where they live, giggles Pepper. The toy basket is full. Mummy and Daddy Pig decide that Pepper and George really need a toy cupboard. Let's buy one on the computer, says Mummy Pig. Hooray, everyone cheers. The next day, Mr Zebra the postman delivers the toy cupboard. 
Oh, it looks a bit flat, says Peppa. Don't worry, your mummy and daddy will build it for you, says Mr. Zebra. Daddy Pig empties all the pieces onto the floor. Hmm, that's odd, says Daddy Pig. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions, suggests Mummy Pig. Everyone helps Mummy Pig build the toy cupboard. Very soon, it is finished. Well done, Mummy Pig, shouts Peppa. Hee hee, laughs George. That's strange. The toy cupboard is very small. How will all our toys fit inside? asks Peppa. The cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. Oh dear. If only we had the instructions, sighs Daddy Pig. Mr Zebra has found the instructions in his van. I'll build it for you, says Mr Zebra. Mummy Pig, Daddy, Daddy Pig, Peppa and George fetch Mr Zebra a cup of tea and some biscuits. All those biscuits look yummy. Mr Zebra has put the toy cupboard together and placed the toys inside. But there's no room for the last two. Poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live, cries Peppa. I have an idea, says Mummy Pig. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But that's where they were before, says Peppa. I know, smiles Mummy Pig. That's why it's such a good idea. And there's Peppa and George sleeping with Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.